unfortunately phd is something where when you take admission you don't know much about there are no help there is no resource that you can refer to and it could be quite challenging to sail the sea when you don't know how to swim so today's video would be about 10 things that i wish i knew before taking admission for phd and i hope today's video would help you it is so slow it took me so much of time to come to terms with this whenever i used to start there was some or the other thing that was lacking either resource or some or i was unwell or something of that sort by nature i'm a go-getter so it doesn't take me much time if i plan things and get it done but phd is something where it's not dependent on you like for example if you need to use some instrument you, you have to see first that the instrument is free and that nobody has booked it if you are going for a field trial you have to first see whichever people are there which are supposed to assist you on that experiment are available on that day so it's not really about you accepting this took me a lot of time some because of my nature and some because of the nature of my work nevertheless now i have come to terms with that reality and i hope this lesson stays for life whenever there is any kind of result submission or anything the first thing you want to do is to prove that you are capable of doing it so you always look for positive results say for example some experiment is there and you are expecting this particular result but you don't get it so what do you do then do you submit the result as it is or do you wait till you improvise and then submit the final result one thing we forget is that negative result is also a result negative result is a proof that you have tried something that something that you are hard working you are passionate and you are working on improving things many of the times we have associated our worth with whatever result that we are getting so we try to delay it or we try to you know perfect it but it is just a norm and miss norm and it should be avoided okay negative result is a proof that something didn't work that something you tried but it did not materialize so the fault is not on your side perfectionism is such an enemy whenever i used to start something new i always had this feeling that everything has to be done perfectly all the resources have to be there 100 percent of the time and then i will start but it always gave rise to some delay whenever you start something you cannot expect it to be perfect the first draft would always be shitty and accepting the fact that the first draft would be shitty is a revelation by itself is a kind of enlightenment for research scholars when you start something new there will be times when you are not going to make it something or the other but if at that stage you are stopping yourself that means the whole thing becomes pending you are not able to go forward the final positive result that you expect is a result of endless experiments done so if at the first stage only you are stopping then there is no way you are going to get the result that you want or the result that you expect oh my god this is such a big one i struggled so much with finances earlier some of you might know that uh, i was working as a lecturer and the pay that i got now as a research scholar was almost around 50 percent cut so it took me around one year just to get into the groove that i have to manage with these finances for next few years and now that i'm in a stage where i've come to terms with all this and uh, there are several other things that are happening so i would like to say first that if you are taking admission for phd whichever scholarship it is especially if it is a central government fellowship then you make sure that there is a facility of taking advance from your institute meaning of advance is you take money from the institute and then when your fellowship comes to your account then you return it back so this is how it works even if you are allowed to take advance it's best to have a side hustle or something going on budgeting saving uh, spending wisely these are things that you learn on the go but it is best when you learn it 
uh, initially I've done several videos on that in the finance playlist you can have a look uh, there are several other resources on the internet as well so if you are going to spend an X amount next month then you should be prepared with that kind of uh, categorization as to this category you will be spending this much and this category you will be spending that much secondly we are living in a culture where there are sales going on every now and then so if you just take popular brands they have sales going on every now and then and it's very tempting to fall prey to that so budgeting can help in that and secondly realizing that buying based on need rather than buying based on your current savings that will help a lot in navigating through this finances whenever somebody points a finger at you speci especially at your efficiency to prove that you are not capable to prove that you are not able to do your duties properly phd is not an exception it's it can be sometimes tough than a regular job so it's important that you stand your ground and speak what you believe in okay so many of the times we come into this pressure of public humiliation get into this guilt mindset that we are not doing enough trust me don't fall prey to such a mindset because it doesn't help secondly your worth is proved when you cover even six months or one year of phd you don't need a separate validation okay many people leave within first week and first month of phd so you need not prove it to anyone if somebody says uh, anything then you can ignore it or you can give an answer depending on what is the situation but it's important to stand your ground with what whatever it is and take pride that you are doing research you are not doing a favor on anyone so are others there will be times when you will doubt yourself your ability to do the experiment to complete the objectives to even whether you are capable of doing it yourself these are the thoughts that will come to your mind i i just want to say that it comes to everyone's mind there was a time when i wished i was somewhere else rather than doing phd the only thing that i would like to say is that don't lose faith on yourself don't get restricted to your phd only i have said time and again on this channel start a side hustle or uh, if you have a hobby then do it if you have a support system outside your phd then rely on that this program is a part of your life it's not the only thing rely on several other things which are beyond phd there is a belief system that for 5 hours you work like anything uh, you focus only on phd and do nothing else uh, finish it fast and uh, go so i don't subscribe to that i believe phd is a time where you need the support most where you need support most from things and people which are beyond your phd so whatever you were doing be before your phd don't stop it continue that and do phd be your own support don't wait for somebody else to support you do multiple things at one time if you are say suppose starting with one experiment and usually the tendency is that once you start one experiment i will finish it and then you will i will start with the next one okay this is a harmful tendency and i'll tell you why if you are waiting for things to finish and then start the next one the next thing could be some of the resources which are required for the next experiment could be present now and some of the experiment which you have started the resources could be present at a later stage so you never know when and how you will get things at what time do things parallelly and don't we have always been taught to focus on one thing which is true or uh, focus on one thing single task but multi project i can't tell you how many times i wish i had written things down i thought i'll remember it because i was doing that experiment that time and then i forgot write everything down usually what i do is i at that moment i write in a notebook whichever is there for my work and then i transfer it on notion in weekly basis so you can do system or you can have a mobile app and then write on it don't rely on a, on your memory 
Uh, I recently gave a presentation and I realized some data, some experiments that I had done. Uh, I forgot to put that data because I just forgot to document that I had done that experiment. It actually could have added much weight to that uh, presentation if I had to show that data. So you never know how your memory works and how things get stressful and frustrating at times and you forget everything. I suggest you have a virtual notebook or something where every day you write down what you have done but that is optional you can have a notebook also and write whatever experiments and each step how you are going about that you write down backing up your work is so important i would suggest cloud storage rather than hard drives or anything but whatever works my go-to is google drive i recently bought a premium membership and with that you can upload anything and everything event notification calendar notifications to help you remind that you need to back up your data like if you have the offline version of google drive or any other app like dropbox sugar sync or anything then automatically when you go online things get synced so you don't need to manually upload it anywhere or manually uh, sync it anywhere so these are some of the things that you can do if you are literally struggling and you don't know whether you should continue you should leave this feeling of leaving come quite frequent to research scholars because there are several other factors and I have done a video about what to do if you feel like quitting so you can have a look. Sometimes the friends that you have they are from your same lab so there is a tendency of cross connection. If they are from the same institute and outside your lab also then also there are some chances that there could be a bias or anything best thing i would say is take therapy there are several affordable options online you just have to type you just have to use google to type and you will get hundreds of searches i have taken it myself and it has helped me immensely and has helped me put things in perspective as far as my work is concerned and as far as what i stand for is concerned as I said earlier, the worth of a research scholar is proved when he or she stays for one year in the program. Okay, There is no need of any other validation. The only thing that you need is to have self-belief on your own. You are going to make it. Uh, it is not that difficult and it's not impossible either. So you just have to have patience and have a belief on yourself that you are going to make it and you will make it. Till the next video.